Returning in triumph after his rampage at Guandu, the smell of battle greeted Lu Bu like an old friend. Liu Yong and Wang Lang, driven out of their lands to the south by the Sun family, cooperated with Cao Cao in a scheme to subdue Lu Bu and take Shu province. Despite the overwhelming weakness of his enemies, Lu Bu was simply happy to be on the battlefield once again. Leaving the defense of Xia Ti to Chen Gong, Lu Bu went to Xi Ting as if lured by the mere smell of battle. Liu Yong, Wang Lang, who are they exactly? They're no one of any real importance. Just some of the clans who until recently had lived in the Zhongdong area. It's nothing you need to concern yourself about. I have no doubt they're merely an annoyance. An annoyance? Ten Gong, Zhang Liao, I'll be busy. Make sure the forces are ready for the next battle. You mean to... you're going to fight them by yourself? Do you think I'll need your help to squash some bugs? We can't let him. No need to worry yourself. I shall send our lord's personal guards to follow him. Such occurrences as this cannot be avoided. That is the nature of the man we follow. Yes, you're right. There's nothing but worthless scum here. Oh well, at least I won't die of boredom. I have come for your head. <laughs> <laughs> Decent challenge! Oh, 
parade. We must drive Lulu away. We have received word from our scouts. Now no force is approaching. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Let's go!
true warrior indeed. You will carry on and crush the battle. Ah, none can stand against you.
Lord, please forgive us. We were only doing what Cao Cao ordered us to do. It's true. Yes, it's true. We were obeying orders. We prefer to obey your orders, Lord. You're the superior man. Let us help you win the land. Enough! I don't need more strength. Or wisdom. Having you around would weigh me down. You want to live? Then go! Hmm. Let's go now.